Hello, 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 friends. Candice B here. Thank you so much for coming to my channel. If you're new here, hello. Oh my gosh. Thank you for finding me and thank you for being here. If you're already subscribed, oh my gosh, thank you for staying. Thank you for always showing up. I appreciate you all. I hope you are all just doing phenomenal. I hope the best thing just happened to you today and you're just like, so happy and bouncing off the walls. You deserve it, whatever it is. Today I am back with another live-ish trading session. Y'all, I'm just trying my best to like put out these videos. I'm, trust me, I'm literally trying my best. My toxic trait is that I think I could just do everything and I have enough time for everything when I really don't, but we make time for what we find important and you guys are important to me, so we making time today. But yeah, enough said, I'm pretty sure you guys just don't wanna hear me blabber. Before we get into this video, I'm gonna need you guys to stop, scroll down, hit that like button, I always appreciate it. And while you're down there, you might as well subscribe, stay a while, hang out with your girl, what up? <laughs> She's not looking crusty today. She's looking put together, we love it. <laughs> That being said, let's get into this video. All right, y'all. So we're picking up where we left off. Y'all, if you saw my other video, um, if you didn't see my other video, actually, then go ahead and check that out. But we were in some shorts with GJ and unfortunately our stop loss was hit right at London Open and then price pushed down. And as you can see, it's just been moving really wassy. That is a very Torontonian word, but it's just moving really ridiculous right now. Like nothing's happening. And right now it's Thursday, August 25th, 8, 11 p.m. This is literally the time I had to film this. So I kind of wanted to do like a, I guess a Asian session analysis. I don't think, have I done one? Maybe I have, but yeah. Um, usually I look at the charts more around 10 p.m. But um, I was just like, you know what? Let me kind of look at and see what's happening now because sometimes 8 p.m. does have some movement, but as we can see right now, nothing's happening. So. We're gonna be waiting because tomorrow's Friday. Um, you know, there might be low volume, we don't know. So I'm not gonna push anything. Like if I don't trade, I don't trade. I didn't trade this morning. As you guys can see, I traded yesterday morning, but I did not trade this morning because uh, yeah, I just didn't really see a setup. As you can see, like this morning is just literally sideways movement. The only kind of movement that happened was when I was sleeping, which was like, this time and then i was not on the charts this time so yeah it is what it is um but honestly if we're just looking at things um even if i go to like the one hour um we can see that price is kind of still in this channel but um it's consolidating it's moving sideways so that could be an indication that maybe you know a reversal might be happening why am i using this um uh, what's that yeah this is kind of the tool i i guess i want to use but yeah, we can see that price is moving sideways. It's in this kind of rectangular box. And for me, I just need to wait to see if price is going to break and close above this area or break and close below this area to see where it's gonna go. Technically speaking, I kinda, my bias is technically still short. Just, I don't know, just right off the top, like I would love to see, you know, a solid close and during like, you know, New York, London crossover, that push to the downside to kind of fulfill this area where price has kind of been showing its intention to come back to a few times. So if we can kind of get back to that level, that'd be beautiful. I mean, in terms of just the pips, that's a 45 pip move, which is literally right in my alley. Um, I think what I might do is set a pending order because if I'm seeing a close below this area, then you know, definitely wanting to be prepared and ready to take any setup that may come to me in that in that regard. Um, if price does end up closing above this zone, of course, you know, there might be the chance of long positions and who knows, you know, we might get a huge breakout, even though tomorrow's Friday, you never know, you know, we can still get a huge break to the upside, break to the downside. We can never, um, what's the word, underestimate the market. Um, that's something I definitely learned. Um, don't underestimate it, but at this point we're still just consolidating. So what I plan to do right now, and um, I don't often set pending orders, but in these type of situations when price is moving sideways, I think it's the best thing for me. Um, I'm going to set some pending orders and I, and like I said, I want price to break below and close below this level. So for me, I want to make sure where I want to enter is below this area because price can easily come down, trigger me in if my, you know, if my pending order's right here, 
and then go back up and that would really suck that's definitely happened to me in the past so i want to give it some room kind of around this area here and um and then kind of yeah just allow it to move to the downside you know what i mean so um i'd be looking for shorts in this area kind of the um 161 241 i'll keep you guys updated but for now i'll set my pending order in that area let me just go down to the five minute and make sure there's some reversals here um to be honest you know what we're gonna do it lower we're gonna be a bit safer we're gonna do it around this area i'm just kind of mapping it out before i put it in my mt4 um yeah because i'm just looking at these kind of these wicks here i want uh price to kind of push and show intention that it can push below those wicks um because then for me that is more of an indication that you know shorts you know bears might be in the picture so around the 161 to 14 area i'm going to set um my pending order um i'm going to set my sell stop and then of course we have you know 20 pip stop loss 40 pip uh take profit but um we'll see we'll see what happens with that and then we're gonna do our um we're gonna do our pending order for buys in this area here literally just right literally just right above these um these candlesticks um let me just get my thing out because yeah you know this is actually going down to the five minute show so much more i mean i don't know if it'll give me the full 40 pips but even if price shows intention to kind of get back up to this level where it has gone and pushed down before then that would be beautiful so we're gonna put it in a safe area which um i feel like is right here we're just scalping mind you guys and i know people are going to be in the comments like oh you should put it here you should put it there y'all i don't do these videos to get advice like everyone has their own way of trading you know what i mean to each their own um it's nice to give advice like mind you like by all means give advice sure but like at the end of the day everyone has their own way of trading and you know if it makes sense to me hey you never know i might take the advice so there we have it y'all we have our um we have our buy stop and sell stop set here so hopefully you know if price wants to it will trigger one of these and not the other i hope it doesn't trigger both um <laughs> but i'll keep an eye on it um as kind of the night goes on and as the morning comes if i have to delete one or the other if i have to delete both if i have to modify I'll let y'all know, but as it stands right now, we're just going to wait. It's a waiting game. So I don't know, like this is the best thing to do in my opinion is just set pending orders when price is kind of consolidating um, and go from there. We might see a breakout. We might see more consolidation. We'll see. But yeah, I'll keep you guys updated in a bit. I'll see you soon. Hello. Can you guys hear me? I hope so, because it is super early in the morning. It is 527 in the morning and uh, what is sleep? Because I don't know her. I hope I'm not talking too like hectically in this mic. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to hop on the screen right now and show you guys what happened. So, um, unfortunately I was triggered into the trade, the buy stop at, um, five, four, three, two, one, two, one. At 10:21, <laughs> had to do that reverse math, and unfortunately, stop loss was hit at 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 30. I had to do the math for that too. <laughs> but yeah, so that was all good. I was happier just to have price hit my stop loss than you know it continue going down, and I'm just in drawdown. So we lost that trade. When I noticed that I was triggered in, I was literally at dinner, so um, I deleted the sell stop and yeah then i had to wake up very very early and i saw this breakout trade so i did just uh re-enter at 5 11 to be exact for a long position because i saw this momentum and we are in london session right now so yes very very bright and early y'all um but yeah i saw this momentum we saw that price did not sustain this push down it essentially hit my stop loss bounced back up to where my entry was did it again pushed back down to this level here 
did not trigger my stall stop. It pushed down to this 161, 315 level where I had drawn that um, previous that previous kind of line <laughs> just to show the zone and then it bounced up from there so essentially we are moving up quite heavily and so uh, essentially if this hits my take profit as it is right now then it's a break even week and we can be happy well i'm happy either way because i feel like i'm managing my trades well and i'm coming off of a time where like i wasn't managing it too well like last week i wasn't managing my trades too well so I'm proud of myself for that, for kind of like getting my mind back in the zone, but we obviously have this level here that we have to break. If price is, you know, in momentum enough, it will do that, but I'm just going to move my stop loss into profit right now so that if it hits it, then it is what it is, um, and we can keep it moving. You feel me? You feel me? All right. By the way, y'all, if you were wondering, I do use Hanko Trade as a broker. Hanko Trade is a true ECN broker that offers very low spreads and leverage up to 500 times your account size. What I really like about them is that they literally have such a huge range of trading instruments. Now y'all know I love to trade GBP, JPY, but whether you want to trade currencies, metals, indices, crypto, they have it all. They also offer you the ability to use either MT4 or MT5. And when it comes to deposits and withdrawals, their process is super simple simple and efficient. So head to hankotrade.com to find out more. And thank you Hankotrade for sponsoring this video. I'm like zoning out now. Yeah. Yeah. It's going to have a bit of a hard time. Honestly, I wouldn't be surprised if price just pushed back down right now, but we're going to try to wait it out because it's 530 in the morning and I feel like if I'm up this early, I might as well be confident in my trade i don't know i'm just talking foolishness i should go back to bed but i can't i gotta go to the gym y'all i'll keep you updated i'll be back i am back again people what may seem like only one second to you has been quite a few hours for me because it is now 12 36 p.m and this is the first time i've had to film I've had the chance to, you know, film any updates since I gave you that one so early in this, this morning, this morning, just know this weekend I am sleeping. Your girl will be knocked out. Okay. Do not disturb. But anyways, <laughs> just wanting to give you guys an update on what has happened officially. Essentially, I was just, um, looking at this trade here while he goes through this setup here that I took at like five 11 or something ish in the morning. Um, after taking a, a loss on the pending order previously. Um, so yes, um, price did push up. We put our stop loss at break even. And as you can see, right before it hits, take profit. Right before, a couple pips before, price spiked down, hit my, um, hit my stop loss and there was nothing i could do because i was at the gym at some point in this time and yeah i was prioritizing my health i'm sorry i'm so sorry because i know people are gonna be like okay Anis, why didn't you put your stop loss in more profits or something y'all i was busy being a human like what the heck <laughs> anyways i still had the confidence that price was going up i still had that confidence this breakout really gave me that confidence um because that's what I was looking for. I, I was mentioning to you guys, I was looking for a breakout, a full on breakout from this structure here, from this kind of uh, downward trend, I guess you can say, like this channel here. I'm talking about these yellow lines, but anyways. Um, so essentially I gave my bias one more shot and I had re-entered another long position. I think it was at 8.54, if I'm not mistaken. Let's check, shall we? Yes. 15.54 GMT time, so it's 8.54. So yes, we took that buy and uh, price did pull back, but we had our stop loss in place. It just came essentially back to recap this this level here and it shot up beautifully and, and that's all she wrote. And honestly, y'all, I love, I know this is probably an unpopular opinion, but I love when your take profit is hit and then price continues going in that same direction, whether it's a buy or a sell. I love knowing that I took what I needed from the trade and that my bias was correct because price continued to go in that direction. Um, because like, it's one thing, how do I describe this? Like, how do I describe the feeling? It just feels satisfying to know that there was more cushion and that you were perfectly fine with a certain amount. 
and that price continued up so it's like it was inevitable that your take profit was going to be hit you know what i mean it felt really good and look what happened after y'all look what happened after do you see oh this was 10 wasn't it yep 10 a.m 10 a.m is a dangerous time for gj look how this dropped even further literally price dropped 140 pips in two and a half hours madness mad thing. tell you it's a mad thing when i tell you it trust and believe it's a mad thing but anyways yeah price just came right back down to once again retest this uh this channel this downward channel but we don't care because guess what we we are out so yeah this was a really good um trade but yeah guys i appreciate you so much for watching i will end up the video now hit that like button if you enjoyed the video in general while you're hitting the like button go ahead and comment down below let's talk about this week how have you done with your trading i hope it went well and what are you gonna change tell me one thing you are gonna change this week and one thing you are happy about this week in trading in life last but not least do not forget to subscribe so you know when i post another video and in the meantime feel free to check out any of my other videos on this channel and my other channel candace btv where i vlog appreciate you guys so much for stopping by have an amazing awesome gratifying satisfying all these rhyming words <laughs> day week and life Bye!